Also breaking tonight, three workers injured and folks in Georgia after a CSX train crashed into a standing rock train. You just heard the 911 call an employee on one of the trains made. This happened at an overpass near 2nd Street North and Okefenokee Drive, and that's where Christina Burgess is standing by live on your side. Christina, you just spoke with the sheriff about this, so tell us more about what he said. Well, yeah, at this time, this scene is still pretty active. Emergency crews are still out examining the area. Police just had a drone shot up that they just brought back down, so it is still active. They have also been taking equipment in and out the area as well. Now, according to CSX and the sheriff, this all happened around 124 this afternoon. A CSX intermodal train came in contact with a standing rock train on the tracks behind me, and that's when that collision ended up happening. This incident also resorted in a small fire that happened. Fire crews were also able to put that out pretty quickly. Now, there were no hazardous materials involved in this. You know, I asked Sheriff Robert Phillips, would residents be in any danger due to this collision happening? But since there were no hazardous materials on either of these trains, residents should have nothing to worry about. However, there were three crew members on this train who were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries at this time. The cause of, in, cause of this incident is also under investigation at this time. Now, I have the chance to speak with one homeowner who actually lives right across the street from these tracks, and he spoke with me on what he heard and what he saw earlier today. Coming up at 6, we'll have more from him. Reporting in Folkestone, Georgia, Christina Burgess, First Coast News on your side.